Dear friends and professionals, me GM Farooq Ahmed, I am a Certified Information System Auditor. In this video, I would like to uh, talk about Domain 5. Domain 5 is on protection of information asset. It is the last domain in CISA certification area and the most important uh, domain uh, for CISA, CISA exam. ISAC has stated that this domain represents 27% of the CISA examination which is approximately 41%. So this is a make or break domain for you. Dear viewers, to ensure the CIA, that means confidentiality, integrity and availability is the main target of this domain. So if you see the triangle confidentiality, integrity and availability, here first of all we have to clear concept of these two, three things, confidentiality. What is confidentiality? Actually ensuring that information is accessible to only those authorized to have access that means only authorized people can access the system or access the data and second point is integrity integrity ensures safeguarding the accuracy and completeness of information and processing method so we have to clear concept how we can uh, make the integrity or how can we ensure the integrity what will ensure the integrity and these types of concept we need to learn and third option is availability that's mean ensuring the authorized user have access to information and associated assets when required when required and uh, here are two things Number one, ensuring the authorized user and uh, access to the information and associate assets when required. Dear viewers, it is uh, to note, it is to, uh, important, it is important to note that the topics addressed in this chapter require a full knowledge of the technologies used and potential control weakness that can be exploited by hackers. CISA candidates should be fully aware of and conversant with the components of network infrastructure security, logical access issues and the key component of information security management. In the CRM, uh, there are two parts Part A is the information asset security and control and part B is the security management or security event management. So if we see in part A, the first thing is we have to learn the security framework, standard and guidelines. Say for CART system, we use PCI DSS. Uh, for software, we use CMMI label. So these types of uh, level or model, we have to make the clear concept. The second point is privacy principle. For uh, privacy principle, different countries has different regulation, say HIPAA. We have to mind that the cross border consideration, always remember the privacy impact vary depending on technology, people and process. So technology, people and process can change or make impact on privacy. And uh, the third point is uh, physical access and environment control. Uh, you have to know the control matrix uh, and uh, preventive, detective, uh, corrective control. Trust me, in the real exam, I got three uh, courses from um, uh, physical access and environment control. Identify and 
access management is the next point and in this point here identification and authentication and segregation of duties is so important in which area a programmer can access or a network administrator, administrator uh, have access this types of uh, SOD matrix is very important and number uh, 5 is network and endpoint security for network and endpoint security you have to clear concept on firewall IDS, IPS, network component, network layer, OSI model and uh, uh, different components of network but uh, yeah, I think in the real exam uh, you not find uh, like uh, the memorized course uh, or uh, in which layer uh, this is used uh, and uh, I, uh, I uh, explained many time uh, uh, for uh, this uh, layer concept in which layer and uh, different types of uh, confusion arise in the uh, uh, revision period so you have to find only the key point only the basic knowledge number six is data classification that's mean uh, uh, how we, you uh, classify your data and uh, one thing that we know inventory is the first step for data classification and uh, in the exam uh, you can get question who is the owner of the data who can uh, give or who has right uh, to access the data and uh, these types of portions number seven is data encryption and uh, encryption related te techniques here uh, you have to um, learn the symmetric asymmetric uh, portion and uh, the next point is public key infrastructure here uh, you have to clear concept on certification authority registration authority uh, number nine is web-based communication techniques uh, in the web-based co communication techniques you have to learn email you have to learn uh, um, online banking online transaction uh, internet banking internet transaction uh, uh, recently e-commerce e-business these types of person uh, and very basic Number 10 is virtualized uh, environment. In the virtualized environment, uh, you get one person. And uh, the next point of section A is mobile, wireless, and internet of things. And uh, upcoming new technologies you find in this domain. And uh, if you read the CISA, uh, and Isaka newsletter, uh, you can uh, grow your knowledge on current technologies. Uh, in the next part of this domain is uh, security event management. In this um, option, uh, security awareness training and program, information system attack method and techniques, security testing tools and techniques such as uh, BAPT, um, different types of tools, workshop, uh, these types of uh, tools uh, and techniques uh, is discussed here. Number four is security monitoring tools and uh, techniques. So uh, how we uh, monitoring the um, uh, different types of logs, uh, different types of uh, incident uh, here um, uh, details is discussed in this option. Uh, in uh, um, next point, point five is incident response management. That's when team management is uh, described in this point. Uh, last point of domain uh, of uh, domain five, uh, section B is evidence collection and forensic. It's a good point, and I think you get uh, one or more, uh, one or two question. Uh, from this point uh, uh, how you preserve uh, the document how you collect the log uh, and um, uh, when we uh, this evidence is uh, collected this types of question is 
uh, come in this domain. Dear viewers, in the review manual, more than uh, 300 pages in domain 4 and 17 major area. So, select a topics for a study and uh, take two days to make and make the key notes on this point. If you get any difficult uh, difficulty, take help from YouTube. Before the exam, you just follow your uh, mentioned or your uh, keynotes and always remember that business always win uh, but need compliance and automation is the best. Always think that automation is the best such as CSA, general, generalized audit software and when you see the automation then uh, 80% uh, or above 80% you ensure that this is the correct answer. Uh, during my study period, I made uh, this type of note, say point A, B, C, I make down the uh, key point and uh, before the exam I just review uh, these uh, notes and uh, it was uh, very helpful to me thank you very much uh, next time uh, I will uh, talk about the different parts uh, on the 17 major uh, areas one by one stay close and safe thank you so much